Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. As everyone in the world tries to murder me. <laughs> Go away. So in today's video, we're going to head to Vinland. And in the interests of not appearing stupid, I did some research. History isn't really my thing, so I didn't know this stuff. But Vinland is... Come here. Vinland? Oh my god, I'm trying to talk to YouTube. We done. Vinland is apparently an area in North America where we found evidence not that long ago, realistically, I think in 1960, that Vikings had set up camp there in this region of North America. Obviously pre-1960, but 1960 found the evidence. So, this actually... Now, I knew that um, Christopher Columbus and all his little stories and stuff was not the first guy to discover America. Now, obviously, people already lived in America, but when we say discover America, we mean people from outside of America finding America. And I knew that, but I wasn't... Sh I didn't know the link between that and the Vikings. And it seems that this, this Vinland, this area in North America is, as far as I could tell, the first evidence we have of uh, people from outside of the Americas actually settling in America. And it was Vinland and the Vikings. So we are going to the very first ever US settlement for, by a foreigner, basically. We're going to be the first immigrants. It's very exciting. I think it's going to be cool. Yeah, I'm quite excited. <laughs> I think it's a really nice idea. The reason... I, see, I thought it might be America, but my problem with that theory was the position on the map. Then again, the bloody Iceland and Greenland didn't make sense either, because on the map it's in, like, the south. That would be, like, I want to see the France? It would be France. This is France. <laughs> Over here is France. Over here is Europe. There's no, there's no coastline here. So when you look at it like this, it does look like... Oh, see, I thought, oh, okay. See, when you look at it like this, and it's an eastern coast, yeah, you can you can guess America to an extent. I thought this was meant to be relative to this. She said something about in like it being in the approximate place, but I think what she means is actually the this thing here, this little marker, and that's why I was confused. That would make sense. What can you tell me of Vinland? Is it a real place or merely a rumor? Rumor or not, I found someone willing to sail you there. She claims to have seen it once before. If she's willing to risk her life beside me and make the long journey, I'll take her at her word. Nessa is her name. Meet her at the docks when you are ready to leave. That would take bloody ages. I'll go now and end the life of Gorm the son. The Valkyries cannot find him. It is a long voyage, Eivor. Be careful. Alright, I'm gonna be gone for months upon months, surely. You've been very dodgy these days, Basim. What are you up to? Basim, have you spoken with Sigurd lately? We talk from time to time. Why? Have you noticed any change in him? Any loss of, of happiness or feeling? He appears to me more thoughtful. Introspective. Thoughtful? That seems an understatement. He speaks as if he hears the voices of the gods whispering in his ear. We live in a strange time, Eivor. Among stranger people. Sigurd may be among the blessed. But who can say for certain? Indeed. Am I crazy? <clears throat> and the answer to that is usually yes. Does Basim not sound... I wonder if it's the same voice actor or something. He sounds remarkably like Loki. You know, in our Asgard storyline. That kind of very throaty uh, kind of voice. And the way he pronounces certain words. I wonder if I can... Next time we go to Asgard, I'm going to listen out for that. Because I wonder if there's like a, a Sigurd equivalent back then. And a Randvi equivalent. I haven't really noticed it. But Basim has such a individual voice. So does Loki. I wonder if there's anything in that. Horse, no. Light, no. What are we going to do? Cozy fire pit, yes. Beautiful. I'm exactly in the mood for a cozy fire pit. Look at that. Look how cozy that fire pit is. 
Right, Hello. anyways, to Vinland. I suppose. Good day to you, stranger. This bow is going to take us across the ocean. I am Eivor. Ranvi said you would be my guide. That is right. Passage to across the seas to St. Brenton's land. Is that right? Ranvi called it Vinland. One and the same. It is a three-week trip by longship. Arduous, dull, possibly fatal. Hmm. Shorter than I expected. Should we survive, you'll be compensated. Eivor, before you go, you must be dressed as a thrall when you arrive. To be seen as you are would raise suspicions. Gorm runs this new camp, and it is a good bet all but a few will be loyal to him. Good thinking. Only taking care of our prize stranger. Love you. First things first, Eivor. My ship, my rules. Second, you follow the rules. Third, if you listen to my rules, you live. Understood. I like you, Nessa. Good. Let me know when you're ready and we'll get going. The women in this game are so much better than the men, honestly. Yo, equipment and inventories left behind. Ah, let's do it. I'll leave my gear behind and dress the part. To Vinland we go. Hop in. <clears throat> we'll leave now. It's an interesting little detail. I wonder how much of this game this is going to take. Oh, God, it looks so different. I wonder how much of the game this is going to take up. Not much, surely. I'm very excited, though. Three cold weeks on the whale road. Also, whale road is the best name for the ocean. Past mountains of ice and kingdoms of stone. Saga lands. That would be Iceland and Greenland. I assume. Yeah. All this way to kill a man. Gorm Chotvesson, the son of my father's old foe. What dark work does the Order have so far across the open sea? So I wonder what happened. Why did the Vikings pull out of America? To the point that we believe Christopher Columbus discovered the... I don't think even Christopher Columbus discovered... Even if you take away the Vikings, I'm pretty sure Columbus didn't discover the US. I'm pretty sure the Spanish got there first. If I remember correctly. Again, history's not really my strong suit. Also, Christopher Columbus never thought the world was round. He thought it was... Like a diamond or something weird? I can't remember. He didn't think it was round, anyway. Also, nobody laughed at him. Also, the world isn't round. The world's an egg shape. Technically. Well, sort of. I have many comments about this, apparently. <laughs> Someone in charge. I'd better step with care. No friends here. Again, turned away. <clears throat> you! Should... You look stronger than most of the others. What's your name? Jora. Jorvik. Jora? As in horse? My father never wanted children. What is this place? Newhaven. A wild place found on no map. Are we settling here? That is not our plan. Too many wild folk in the woods. They threaten us. You ask too many questions, horse. Your task is to keep your mouth shut and do as I tell you. Now, unload that ship and then I'll have you carry those carrots. Hildi! 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 We can't find Olaf. Look, his ass, not again. We cannot send supplies to Gorn without his guidance. Oh, pull what supplies we have to the nearest camps then. Gorm's men will do the rest. Let me go. I can carry whatever supplies Gorm needs. That's Olaf's job, horse, not yours. You stick to this port and keep your head down. Ask around about Olaf. Someone must know where he has run off to. Vinland Ark started. Find this all love. He may know where Gorham is. Hello, human. Oh, wait, you're my human, no mind. Alright, I want to have a look at the map. Okay, no, it's not that big, is it? It's, it's, a, it's more like a smaller, self contained arc. That's cool. Arcs are cool. Am I, I don't seem suspicious. No, it is a rotten place, that storehouse. Have you seen it? A bloody mess. Okay. 
Guess we're gonna, right, I was gonna go over there, but that's plenty miles away. Let's go to the storehouse. Is it this? Are you a storehouse? You look like a storehouse. Someone broke through this wall. Someone broke through here. Made quite a mess. Could be Olaf went this way. No. Oh. <laughs> God, I really have nothing. It's very disconcerting. My beloved axe, my beloved predator bow. My beloved everything else. Uh, my, this might be a good opportunity to try some new weaponry, at least. Might be Olaf's. Where are you at, Olaf? What are you up to, buddy? This trail leads to high ground. Good. I can get my bearings. My nose is itchy. <laughs> yeah, this is nice. It's pretty. It's, uh... It's, uh... I don't know. Like a slightly more... Mountainous version of what we've been doing. Teotin not to no, I'm not even gonna, <laughs> not even gonna attempt that one. Teote non Aterianton or something. So I guess we found out why they didn't settle here. Did they literally come across here, try to settle, and the Native Americans? This is beautiful, actually. Screenshot time. The Native Americans beat them back. Fair play, good job. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Think about how different the world would be if we never settled America. Never have I seen such a place. Well, I don't like the word settled. It implies that it wasn't already settled and it was. You know what I mean. Invaded would be the correct term. Oh look at that waterfall. Yeah. Why would there be, I suppose? <coughs> oh, excuse me. Go, soon. It's nice that my pigeon came along with me. <laughs> Can I jump here? I guess I'm gonna find out. Yep. I, I actually did not see that at all, so. Yeah, buddy. All of? Hey! At least these guys are friendly. A little village. The Iroquois. Iroquois? Iroquois? Iroquois. It's one of those four. Maybe. Do you, do we, do we understand one another? She looks like me. Oh yeah, can you tell her that I don't know? Just know that he got the gig of young way. Do any of you speak Norse or Saxon? Does a day what gig of young way? Yeah, the day why and dirty. Yeah, the young way you read the only thing he told it. Nigun ready hunters ne gone on. But <laughs> 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 <When> it's pigeon. Giga or Zidana, what or Nazi ne, Giga Jungwe. A giant pigeon. This is Sunan, a name means insight. Yanja Dahawe Giga, Tinue Oya Ganyatara Keronu Itres, Danu Ahinasku. Ahoya the Genha, Doga Ahuna Darohage Giga. Soon and you made us some friends. These huts wow. and clothes. Am I Nitka? They're still. Hmm. Waterfalls are places of power in the old sagas. Giga oya ganyatera keheronu rodaska. Nine days I hung in the tree. Eva, I think I need to explain to you what a language barrier is, love. I know well. 
but the words are mine, sick. That whom they got tiger, Roja Datku, that set sant doga asqueni, toner, era anchat the hawite nega. Then I threw my eye in the well. This is wisdom. Sounds like the rains here are seer. Olaf, what are you up to? You madman. Who are you? Olaf, I am. Olaf. Called the unlucky, but don't you believe it? And where is, uh... Promise you will do it quick. <laughs> what? Do not stab me from behind, Drengur. Like Sigurd and the dragon. Please. I'm not here to kill you. I've come for Gorm. N not, not here to kill me? Not today. Oh, stay clear of Gorm, then. He's not a good man, not a good man at all. Why would you need to see such a terrible man? It is a matter of honor. And Gorm owes me a great debt. Let's leave it at that. Oh, good. Yes. Yes, honor is good. Olaf will help you. Olaf will help you so much. Honor is the only thing. Yes, the only thing. I saw signs of a struggle at your camp. Did something happen between you and Gorm? Nothing to speak of. He, um, did not care for me trading with the villagers here. Beat me and put me in chains. I snipped away free. Not so unlucky, am I? Still alive, yes. Still alive. Good. Point me toward Gorm. Not possible. He is away. Far away at the camps in these woods. All well guarded. Might be at anyone. Why camps? Is he settling here? Or searching for something? Searching, yes. Always searching. And never finding the mean, mean backrot. And how do I find these camps? I can show you. Follow, follow, follow. I might steal from your chest first if you don't mind. It's just there. Shining at me. Olav, could you <clears> tell <throat> me something? Anything Olav can tell, Olav will tell my new and big friend. <laughs> it's Why just like real life. Across the sea to this nameless wilderness. It seems a great risk for so little. Gorm carries with him a crystal that talks. It tells him where to go and what to do. A talking crystal. It is truth. The elf stone tells him to seek, and so he seeks. And when it says dig, he digs. Such a mystery. You sure are slow on your love. For? <laughs> that is a mystery he will not tell. But my guess is the best guess. He seeks the door to Jotunheim. <laughs> so slow. So very slow. Oh, there's a shop. <gasps> Sorry, buddy. Didn't mean to scare you. Wait, how am I ever going to trade with you? I have no loot. I'll be back. Look, out across the river. One of Gorm's camps. All look like that. All of them. They are well guarded, you say? Oh, yes. By fierce men. Warriors who attack any stranger on sight. Anyone. And they are all well armed. Not like you. As well equipped as a stable hand. <laughs> it does not take much to kill a man. But sharp steel helps. Oh, yes. You're not wrong. I could use better weapons. Olavur will help. Gather ore and hides to barter for war gear. Ore and hides? I can find out there? Yes. Yes! Some in the woods, much more at Gorm's camps, than traded all with the people here. Easy as a smile. Yes. Yes. I don't understand the language. Can you translate for me? <laughs> no need, no. We talk with signs. Just walk up to a trader and start trading. Take this. Some goods to get you started. Awfully nice of you, considering he already robbed you, but... Thank you for this, Olaf. And until I say otherwise, speak nothing of this to anyone. Might be a good idea to trade, now that I'm here. He seems eager to trade goods and wares. Would you like to trade goods and wares? 
He would love to trade goods and wares. <clears throat> People love goods and wares. Trader will allow you to acquire valuable goods in exchange for materials. I understood that game. We kind of went through that. Right, well, I think a weapon's got to be top priority, right? <clears throat> Is there any point in getting anything? Oh, okay, get the club. I want the spear. But I'll get the club first. Yeah, okay. Yeah, precisely. Sure. I have to go. All I need is one weapon. Weapon lets me kill things, you know. Ready to rock. Yeah. Get some braces on as well. Increased range damage when close to full health. It's pretty good. And slowly you generate health when below 50%. That's not bad either. Okay, so am I just I'm just given the world now? I guess. Go on, set up camps for adventure. Obtain gear by find. It's just find and assassinate. Okay, let's go check this camp out then. They said there's one over here. I've got a weapon. I'm a better player than them. I should be able to win. Oh, I have no adrenaline. I've just realised. I can hike into the woods. Sorry, Avo. What were you saying? Oh. I suspect the game. Well, I mean. Oh. But the game probably doesn't want me to go straight for Gorn, does it? So, I mean, what we'll do is we'll explore around, we'll, we'll do the quests, and we'll gather treasures, and. do. We'll just do everything, and then we'll go kill Gorn, basically. I think that's a good idea. Where's this camp at? Have I got the wrong way? It's over there, isn't it? Ugh, but there's a thing right here. I'll go do this first. Wah! God, I've got no adrenaline either. Oh, hello. Bum, bum. The club's pretty cool. Oh, that's a good thing. We should we should try out new weapons because we'll have tons of new kill animations. That is actually the best reason I've come up with so far for why I should try different weapons than the one I've been using. Okay, well, chests have suddenly become hyper important on a way they never were in the past. <clears throat> <laughs> it's like a magical bunny rabbit quest then. Gorm is in these woods somewhere. Huh. Dead dude. A lonely end. Luck skipped his turn. Take you back to Newhofen. To ask for a corpse. So ends the adventure of Eric the Bold. Fled my post, now lost in these endless woods. Tumbled off a cliff, broke my leg. Night comes and the wolves howl. Won't be long. Whoever finds this, I beg thee. Bear my corpse back to Neofen in the east, just along the corpse. The coast, I should say, if I spoke English. You have some weight on you. How am I going to get you out of here? Oh, okay. Uh. <laughs> uh. Funny. Alright, well, I mean, we can go back and we can grab that treasure and we can do that quest there anyway. So it's fine. Alright, come on, corpse. You and me, buddy. I need someone to talk to anyway. Stop attacking me. It's corpse time, not wolf time. You've got to learn your times. Corpse time and wolf time. Don't intercede. I'm sorry about that, corpse. I shall call you Corpsey. Conrad. Wait, did he have a name? I can't remember. Corpsey. <laughs> come on, Corpsey. So, do you come here often, or...? How are you doing? <sighs> People... Dead bodies are heavy. You know. I mean, like, children are heavy. Try, like, carrying a child around all day. And it starts to wear down on you, right? So imagine carrying, like, a full-bodied person around. I guess that's why you do the fireman lift, but even still, this is... This is some intense stuff going on here for Eivor. 
I don't have to do with the corpse. Brother? Brother! Oh, no. Brother! You should have listened to me. You have always been too selfish. Reckless. Even Mother said so. Blame not the adventurer. For the pull of blood songs can tempt even the gods. Where do I go now? Without you to guide me? What should I do? Lost. <laughs> I am lost. Remember your brother and all that he is. Bring home his tales and let his legacy be grown. That is all we are. Words and song. I will hone my bowcraft. And he will smile upon me from above. He will be proud. Thank you for bringing him back. No Thank worries. You. I'm going to be the best hunter ever. Just like you, brother. Wait and see. I will shoot that elk in the eye. There's confusion. <laughs> um, pretty sure there's a treasure here somewhere. Oh, it's there. Hello, you cheeky little so so. I don't think there's any more here, is there? In this little town? No, okay. Go grab this. No, no. Is that. He is in the horse now. I thought, oh my god, I'm ravaged. Who's dead? You've taken. <laughs> it was not me alone. My friends and I won them. We call ourselves the Toothbreakers. Sadly, we were separated by a beast of a kind we have never seen. In one fell swoop, it tore our group apart. We are supposed to meet here to hunt that creature before returning home. And so, I wait. Wait in safety then. Safe travels, and watch the woods. Right. I'm assuming that I can't do this one until... Oh god, there's really nothing here, is there? It's crazy. I'm assuming I basically have to, I have to go find the beast in the woods, essentially. Okay, well let's see if we can buy any more gear, because we've got a couple of chests, and then we'll try and go take out a camp. Is there any point in taking out a camp? Are you hiding, Corp? Maybe we'll get something and then we'll just go to do some looting and blah blah blah. <clears throat> oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Aww. I was hoping to have a special mount. <laughs> it definitely makes sense that I don't have a mount. It really does, but I'm a little disappointed. Oh, come down, love. Bloody hell. Try to be alright? Yeah. Alright, cool. I'll go explore. It's nice. This is a surprising... I don't know. I'm just surprised that they bothered with this. Like, you could have not included this in the game and nobody would have noticed. <laughs> you know? Yeah. But I appreciate that when people go the extra mile. I swear I got a common ingot, but I must have spent it. So I need ingots, right? I can get some pants. I feel like I should save up. Because I want to get the the bow. All right, buddy. Olaf, tell me about your falling out with Gorm. He caught me stealing from his locked chests. I wished to trade with the villagers here. Then he gave you a good thrashing, did he? Yes, yes. Now I stay in my safe place. Everyone needs a safe place. Boop. Okay. Treasure down a oh, wealth. I suppose. Oh, sorry, love. I thought you were a rock. Wealth over there. Is that not where the camp was anyway? I think so. Mm, no, the camp's on the right. Right? I have a bloody clue. I swear it's over here. Uh, over here somewhere. I don't really see anything resembling a camp over there, unless I'm crazy. Oh no, I think I see it. Yeah, okay, I see it. Is that it on the on? I feel like I need better eyesight. I can't tell if that's rocks or a camp or. I see an eagle. 
Oh, it's, it's a bush. Connor, you dummy. It's a freaking bush. <laughs> That's all it is. <sighs> Let's go get the bloody treasure. <laughs> Not get sidelined by foliage. Grumble, grumble. So, this suggests to me that one of the greens on the map is probably a legendary animal fight. It might prove to be pretty difficult. Given my lack of uh, resources. Da 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 da. Well, if there was ever a good time to actually be sneaky, this is probably it. Which is pretty cool. Da 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 da. Oh, now what? Oh, I didn't mean to attract that many of them. Bloody hell. Hey, pal. Hey, hold on. God, I have to do this on all of them. Just because I have no damage anymore. <laughs> Absolutely every enemy needs a special attack. I don't mind doing some straight up fighting. But if we can take out one or two, that'd be cool. Come here! Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> I only need one of you to come over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Right, yeah, there's a corpse. Oh, I'm not going to get both, am I? You feel so quick. It's crazy. I'm going in. There's only like a couple guys left. But the, the speed of which I can attack with this club is nuts. I'm just so used to using a two handed weapon. I can run for hours. Look at me go. Zoom, zoom. Zipping, zapping. Like a mad lad. Do no damage, but. I think that's to be expected, really. It's cool. <laughs> Hello, buddies. Buddies? Whatever. One step closer. Heading to other camp, remember the code Steinhaus Bruhammer Hevelgraf Novjotlot. Nice. Okay. Uh, hmm. Alright, I guess we keep going. Oh, two carbon ingots. Oh, they're awesome. Basically, we're going to go around, gather up the flight point things. I'm just going to call them flight points, get over it. <laughs> and then um, find out where Gorm's camp is. We'll go do a final stock up. I don't bloody know. We'll see what happens, but I've got a rough idea in mind. No particular reason to go murder those lads, I don't think. Could murder some iron ore, though. Bloody Nora. What was that? <laughs> Hello? That was very loud, whatever that was. I'm kind of curious. And something can see me. I've got red on me. You've got red on you. Oh, hello. It's a moose! Hello, moose. I wonder if the legendary animal is a, a legendary moose. What was that? I want them to try to kill me. I want to harvest their flesh. You know? I'm not asking for much, just harvest me, you nerds. <laughs> I'm not convinced it's worth it for a couple of pieces of leather. Up the hill we go. 
I guess more than anything, I should head for wealths, because they're probably all contained in camps. Well, there's something here as well. I don't know, it's cool. It kind of reminds me back of when we were playing in Norway, but just less, you know, snowy. It's a nice change of pace. There's another... There's a vendor up here, apparently. For reasons unbeknownst to science. Hello. Yeah, exactly, buddy. Okay. I can get the... I should get the bow, I think. Can I get two pieces of armor? No, so it's the bow or the spear. So I should get the bow. <clears throat> I'm hoping I can find arrows, so I don't want to go nuts on that. Just wanted a couple to get me started. Oh god. Not exactly the type of bow I would have liked, but that's okay. We can't be picky. We have a bow, and bows are cool. Ooh, new music. Do 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 bow. It's kind of like, um, I guess this isn't that long before Assassin's Creed 3, right? Because that was kind of at the dawn of America, well, the dawn of the United States. I'm pretty sure there was Thomas Jefferson DLC for Assassin's Creed. S snake? More like leather stick. So you're not giving me any bloody loose, never mind. <laughs> What do we have here? Tianon Takahen. Teka. You know, my girlfriend is like, uh, ex girlfriend, I should say, sorry. Had uh, severe Native American influences. I really should have nailed my pronunciation better. Here I, Brendan of Clonfort, servant of our Lord, to make my final inscription before this holy fount of light. My journey. Is ended. For two and some years have I heeded the inner voice of my lord and followed it to this place to receive his word. I have seen the gate with its ancient markings. I have heard the voice of his angel calling me beloved. Yet the way did not open. His voice yet calls to me still in blissful forms, torturous to me. Yet, the way remains closed. My way forward is... uncertain. Poor guy. Been following his journey for a long old time. Oh. Alright, let's have a little peek here, see what we can see. Hmm. Oh, this is looking promising. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it's on this big old one over here. Can I climb this one? Yeah. No, but I'm very close. Hmm. Next. Oh. Never mind. I just saw this. And that. Right, there's no way these aren't relevant. Are they blocking the sight line or something? Yeah, this one definitely is. Okay, that actually tells us where we need to view this from, because this is blocking that top one, right? So surely that means we view from over here. Somehow. And that's very close. So marking on this? No. Marking there, though. There we go.
strange forces work here. Cool. <clears throat> I feel like we haven't done one of those in ages. I feel like the last one we did was down at the beach when we were training that guy. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what I mean. Right, okay, so I think I want to hmm, think, actually. This goes much further to north and west than I expected. Um, oh, 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 oh. I'm going to head back this way. I'm going to grab this treasure, and then we're going to circle back up there. That's the plan. I'm trying to prioritize a little bit. Wealth. It's a wealth. I only see treasure over wealth, because I am not... My mouth... My mouth is not built to say the word wealth. As I've explained, I do not like TH noises. My mouth does not make them very well. I used to just say mouth. It's just mouth with an F. Treasure, wealth, it'd be wealth, wouldn't it? People would be like, wealth with an F. I'm like, yeah, shut up, leave me alone, nerd. But I was the nerd. Really? I was the nerd. Best not to draw attention here. No chance this is a one shot, right? <laughs> no. The bow is actually pretty damn useless now that I think about it. That's okay. Well, that's a decent amount of damage. Oh, I'm just I just wanna know if it kills I'm pretty sure there's a key down here that I'm pretty sure I need. Why is this place so heavily guarded? Oh, I was hoping I'd take a couple of them out. I don't have my wolf either. Oh no! Whoa, Nelly! Okay, this is gonna be rough. It's gonna be a little rough. There's so many big guys! What is this nonsense? Alright, this is why I need poison. More than any other time. Whoa! Whoa! I just basically got one shot. Gods, oh, hurting all over. I thought I was dead. Do de Gordia, doka asaya ge gigon, ande wa zaruna te di zarun hiagon. Sayak. Sayak. You want me to to eat these? Maybe I was meant to die? Why is I never would have eaten some things with my new friend? All part of my plan. Healed me with their berries. I'm grateful. Yes, yes. And elderberries have a good taste too. And good for you. They do, I like elderberries. Do these elderberries grow wild around here? Yes, yes, all through the land. Here and there. Why is this place so heavily guarded? What are you hiding, Gorm? Hmm. I mean, the problem wasn't... It, uh, the, the problem was just dying instantly more than anything else. I felt like I didn't have a chance. I just got whomped. I really do need to try to be sneaky. And to be fair, I've been having a, I've been having a pop at the game for basically the entire game that it never emphasizes stealth gameplay. So I have to acknowledge when it actually does, because this, this is... And I'm going back in. I mean, yeah, okay, my armor sucks and I've come quite far in, so I suspect slightly that, you know, on this difficulty, etc., maybe I should have geared up a little bit more before coming this far, because all those enemies were stupidly high level. <laughs> but, uh, who cares? On the, other, on the other hand, who cares? What I would like to do, I think, is try to grab the flight path first. Just in case I do die again, basically, and they're very close to each other. This way we can get back nice and quick. Oh, Foxy. Looking very foxy, if I do say so myself. Which I do because I just did. 
It's a turkey! Gobble, gobble. I, I speak. Turkey! Ah! Turkey's trying to kill me! I did not expect the turkey to retire. Now I know turkeys are violent animals, don't get me wrong. But still. I didn't expect that flash of red as the turkey suddenly sees me as dinner, basically. Get some dinglings today. I love skill points. Wait, where the hell's my ore? Skill points do make me unreasonably happy. There it is. Unreasonably happy, it must be said. I guess I should be hunting animals with the bow. Try to get more leather, because we are picking up ore quite often. But not really leather, so. Do, 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 do. Look at all of Vinland. It's beautiful. And we had to go fuck it up. <laughs> I laugh, but I'm serious. Okay, let's try this guy. Hello? What's in. What's. It's just fish. I was hoping for like an alligator or something. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. I mean, I've got the key. Technically, I could probably I just sneak in. Oh, God, there's another key. Alright. No, you're not meant to hear me. Like, what's going on over there? Is that a is that a puma? It's a goddamn puma. <laughs> you get him, buddy. I'll help. Now, you, now you're gonna try to kill me, aren't you? Bloody hell! My health. My beautiful health! Puma, Cougar, Mountain Lion. I could go many different ways here. Alright, that went better. What's this? Ah, it's the note, of course. Gora must be near. Deeper into the woods. Oh, hello, many people. See me! What's the point in ninja mode if you can see me? Come here, you. Nerd. Okay, the bow's pretty cool. <laughs> it's grown on me rather quickly. <laughs> that was pretty sweet. Did I really not get all the keys? How many keys do you need? It's all the way over there! It's over there. I don't know which one's which. That could be for something. I don't know. I'll go grab this one. Eh? Eh? No. Surely not. What I would like to be able to do is an ability you used to be able to do in Assassin's Creed. You used to be able to do like a double assassinate. If there's two enemies together like that, you could literally just walk up and stab them both at the same time. It was awesome. I'm aiming for the arms. Like so. We found a promising dig site deeper inland to the northwest. Okay. Okay, yet another key. I mean, I guess it is over there. Bizarre. Alright, any chests or anything I'm missing? Nope, but there is over there. I should grab that one and that one. So it's a northwest, so probably that one, if I had to guess, is Gorm's camp. Gorm. It's a great name. If I was going to be like a, you know, a Viking massacring everyone, Gorm is the kind of name I would like. Gorm the Gormless. Gorm the Gargantuan. Billy the Butcher. Bobby the Boomerang. 
Colin. Colin's not a great Viking name. Colin the Caterpillar. I've got to remember, and I keep kind of forgetting, but I've got to remember I'm not super strong. I will actually have to play the game, <laughs> essentially. I'm not doing nearly as much damage as I thought it would be. Oops. Oh, he's, he's healing! What a mad lad. <laughs> Stay there, buddy. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you dummy. <sighs> Can't get the help these days, I tell you. They just keep appearing. Nora. Ooh. Oh, nice little finish there, April. Let's get this bloody key and get out of here. Jesus. That was a lot for one treasure. It's really, I really, I'm really enjoying it. There's something about not being like this all encompassing killing machine, which is quite refreshing. God, even the gun fight, that might be pretty cool as well. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, Alright. Oh, I want that treasure. You're fine. I would like to take less damage. I am getting my ass handed to me every time I take a hit. It feels very risky to lose half your HP in one smack. So, that's definitely on the priority list. I guess we'll go over here. We'll nip to the trader again, get some more stuff. I think we'll probably get everything before we uh, move on. Not that I can take it with me. I might be able to, but... I don't know. Seems like a good idea, right? It's gone off. Just take advantage of what we got. So what can we get? I could get the spear. Hmm. I get the cloak. How can I get everything? Is there enough ingots for that? It doesn't look like it. I guess it makes sense to get things. And we've already got a, a chest piece, right? It doesn't make sense to get a chest piece. It doesn't make sense to get boots. It does make sense to get a helmet, a cloak, and gloves. Nice. Very cool. All right then, treasure. Oh, I suppose if the treasures contain two iron ingots apiece, I might precisely have enough. There's only six left though, I believe. I don't bloody know. We'll see what happens. Go away. Time for this nonsense. Bloody snakes. Trying to snake me up, daddy. You know, not about that life. We did try fighting with the spear at one point, I believe, and I believe it went terribly badly, but I just wasn't... My body wasn't ready. My mind wasn't ready. But this time, Spear McGee, they're going to call me. Because of how much I like spears. We're like, whoa, that person sure likes spears. 
And the other people go, yes, well, they are called Spears McGee. <laughs> and that will be the tale of Spears McGee, and it'll be very exciting for everyone involved. Come here, pal. <clears throat> this seems to be. Come here. It would be so much worse if I didn't have instant assassinations turned on. It would take so long. Look how much damage I would do. Like a quarter of his HP bar? Oh. You're gonna need the. Oh no, nice. How many ingots did we get for that? Maybe I can't get all the gear. Maybe we're, maybe we're meant to prioritize what we think is most important. Consider not just casually setting your sword on fire like a massive nerd. Alright, calm down. <laughs> That's exactly what I was hoping for. Oh boy, I am having to work though. Let's get this bloody treasure. Yeah, two more ingots. But that means even if I get the final wealth, I'd only ever have two, three more pieces of gear, right? And that's not enough to get every single piece, so I'm a little confused by that. Um, okay. Um, what's my plan here? There. And we'll go from there. I'm trying to decide what my priority is. I think... Like I say, so there's three more pieces of gear. Helmet. Oh, that's not gloves. We already have gloves. So helmet and a spear and then maybe a chest piece. Maybe that's all there is. We'll see. We shall see what we shall see. Yes, um. It's free lever, isn't it? The see, double assassination right there. I mean, as it happens, not right there. <laughs> but, in theory. Bit of in prime time. I'm going to restock on arrows before the final attempt as well. Climbing up there. It's nice. It's got. It's pretty cool. Just pure natural environments. Very few buildings. You know, you'll see like a little boat here and there and a bridge, but generally speaking, we're just exploring the world itself. It does give me... Oh my god, several bears. <laughs> I'm going to leave you guys to it. It does give me AC3 vibes, which I... Genuinely hated as a game, so <laughs> that part, well, whatever. But I, I'm excited to give AC3 another go. Like I say, when this game's over, we're gonna go back and play through the original Assassin's Creed and go from there. We may even stop for the end of this one, but I think that might make the story a little bit confusing. If, uh, <laughs> you know, we're halfway through a modern day storyline on this one, and suddenly we're playing as bloody. What's his name again? What is his name? I won't say Dexter, but that's only because I've spent today watching Dexter, so... It begins with a D, though. Darius, Dexter, Dominic... No. Ah, it's got a stupid name. What is it? I actually don't remember. He's dead, in a way. <laughs> I think. 
Whenever that happened, I missed it, but apparently he's dead. <clears throat> what I'm going to do as well is do a primer on what exactly has happened in the storyline so far at the start of each of those games, which I think will help people, myself included. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Um, right, what if we go over here? I need to sneeze again. <laughs> Scoozy. I know not what I do. No, I sneeze. <laughs> but beyond that, I know not what I do. I nearly killed a girl by sneezing once. <laughs> Unironically. I sneeze very loudly. I'm kind of holding back when I do YouTube. And... I was on the subway in France, and I sneezed so loudly that, oh, that's a bloody rock thing. Although I did kind of nail this last time, that uh, the girl nearly fell into the train tracks with an oncoming train. <laughs> I need to be careful. I've been given an almighty power. We're going to hear from Baby Avor again. Avor, did you hear? The king will visit tomorrow. Sigurd will be with him. Father told me, but I cannot play too often with Sigurd. He always steals my stones and calls me troll, too. <laughs> I can think of one way to fluster him. Use all of these stones for your next cairn. He'll have none for himself. I could build the largest cairn he has ever seen. He would be so jealous. Take these. Make him smile. Yes. And did your father mention Gunnar's arm ring? No. Not that I remember. Speak with your father tonight. He has a special task for you. I'm kind of smashing these, just saying. That one was super easy, it must be said. <laughs> I really struggled with these at the start of the game. I guess it's kind of just... I don't know, just getting used to knowing what the game is asking of you more than anything else. And how it wants the stones to be laid out. I wonder if that's ever meant to be a clue. Interesting. Right, we are going to end it there, but we'll pop in some skill points first. I'm quite excited to carry on going, so I'm just going to like record the next episode straight away, but you have to wait a day. <laughs> uh, right. Oh, where was that bit that seemed super good? Was it down here? Health, range damage, heavy damage, sprint attack, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, melee damage though. Oh, go on then. Cool. Three, three, two, ladies and gentlemen. Three, three dry, dry. Wait, what, what would that be? It's five. Wait. That's my trophy of one six. It's one six. Zwion, 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 Dry Zig. Dry hundred. Hundert. Is it hundert? Dry hundert. Zwion, Zwion, Zig. Dry Zig. Yeah? My German is not perfect. Uh, right, thank you for joining me. I'll see you lovely folks next time. Cheers much as always. Bye-bye.